Hello guys, do you know something's quite uplifting to see? That a lot of young men, and men in general, have opened their eyes to the feminine nature, to their scams, their deceit, their lies, the stupid games that they play. And the funny thing is that without the man's participation in those schemes, those lies and deceits, femons have become powerless. Because if a man doesn't believe a femon's gobbledygook, then it just becomes gobbledygook. Of course, they're all trying the oldest trick in the book. Dress seductively. Get your breasts out. But most of them don't look attractive or sexy. They look disgusting. And a lot of males are actively avoiding femons. Men are sick and tired of playing a game that they never will be able to win. There is no advantages to be with a femon today. There's only disadvantages. When the good news inadvertently, males have found a better life, a more rewarding life, with much less drama, and plenty of time to do the things he loves to do. As I've said it before, a male without a femon is still a male. A femon without a male is just an empty vessel with no real heading. Every day these feminist activists get closer to the wall, and every day they get closer to being a cat lady. Males don't have to worry about the wall at all, and I bet that pisses the femons off. Well, why not? Everything else does. Anyway, you have a good day, gentlemen. You've earned it. Take it easy. I've got one that can see.